Hello from 4 chapter 10, video number 27, page number 18. Another title about the bird group. Okay, Rhesus factor. Always mean by the Rhesus factor, antigen D. So Rhesus factor, you actually can call it as antigen D. So what's mean by Rhesus factor or antigen D? This is another antigen on the surface of the red blood cell. 红血球表面上另外一种抗原它叫抗原 D OK So how you know you are OK start first So what's mean by Rhesus factor? Another antigen from the surface of the red blood cell is called Rhesus factor RH factor 另外一种红血球表面上的一种抗原来的 OK so the red blood cell of an individual who has a Rhesus factor or antigen D is called RH positive. 如果你有这种抗原,你就叫 positive and we call you as RH positive. Or another meaning, if you are in the blood group called A positive, 如果你的血型是 A positive, they mean on the surface of your red blood cell, it contains the antigen A. But beside the antigen A, you also contains another antigen called Antigen D. So that's what you call positive. Na, you the A home in the positive. Positive is you are H positive. You have another one. Antigen you call antigen D. Okay. So an individual who does not have the RH factor or antigen D is called RH negative. 没有这种 antigen 的人就叫 RH negative. Okay. So 有的你就是 A 加。那你没有你叫 A 减呢？ So your blood group is A negative. Naga negative is RH negative. So positive, negative, any difference? You have some difference? You have some importance? Race factor, another one, important thing. Okay. So if the bloods of the RH positive donor mix with the bloods of the RH negative recipients, okay, if you are the one who is donating, you donate the one who is donating. Okay. The recipient bloods will react by producing the what? The donating one will get your blood. 简单呢，就拿到那个 antigen D， 它做什么呢？ So it will react by producing the antibody D. Okay, so it will by producing the rhesus antibody， 它就会产生一种抗体，就叫 rhesus antibody， 也叫做 NDD antibody 啦，抗体 D， 抗拒那个抗原 D. Okay, so 加的人捐给捐的人。减的人的身体会制造一种抗体，就叫 rhesus antibody， 也叫 NDD antibody 啦。Okay, or what happened to this NDD antibody? 它要做什么呢？ So if the Rh negative recipient receive another dose of the Rh positive plus， 如果他继续陆陆续续的又拿到加的血， the rhesus antibody what going to do with the rhesus antibody？ 它的抗体会做什么呢？就会攻那个抗原。Okay, and when it attack the antigen, it will cause the agglutination of the donor cell. It will cause the agglutination of the donor cell. It will cause the agglutination of the donor cell. It will cause the agglutination of the donor cell. And this may lead to the death of the recipient. Now, if you have the donor cell, 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 the donor cell. So this is something that the donor cell can give the donor cell. 明白吗 ？OK， so this is what happens. Or when is when the case become more serious or more significant? 什么时候这种情况会变成比较特别呢？比较重要呢 ？During pregnancy, OK， 在怀孕的时候，这种东西要注意了。But nothing to worry. Doctor will make the observation. 医生呢，他会看的。你怀孕的时候，你你抽血验血的时候，他已经知道你是加减。他会注意的，明白吗 ？So usually the problem will arise. 什么时候出现这个问题呢 ？When an Rh negative mother married with Rh positive father, 简的妈妈跟加的爸爸呢结婚在一起 ，and conceive an Rh positive fetus. 然后怀孕，怀孕出来的胎儿呢是 positive 的，他的血型是加的。Okay. So what is the problem? 他的问题是哪里呢？妈妈是减，爸爸是加。然后怀孕的时候，那个 baby 呢是。Positive, okay, Rh positive. Lah, so, 什么事情呢？来 ，so during the last months, not not necessarily last month. Ah, 不一定要最后一个月的啦，哈。They say, lah, ha. So during the last month of the pregnancy, oh, it can be any time. 它可以是任何的时候。The fragment of the fetus blood cell contains the antigen D cross the placenta and entering the blood circulatory circulation of the mother. So during the last month, 可能是最后一个月。可能是任何的时候
Okay, so positive bloods, 那个 and <coughs> the fetus blood cells, 胎儿的血细胞呢，不小心种种情况 that contains anti antigen D entering the mother blood circulatory system. 它可以从任何的管道不小心的跑进妈咪的身体里面 So what happened when the patient negative mother received the antigen D? 她的妈咪一拿到这种血，里面有 antigen D， 她的妈咪叫什么呢？ So as a result, the white blood cell in the mother's blood will react and produce an NDD antibody. So, mummy's blood will produce its own NDD antibody. NDD antibody. They will fall back through the placenta into the fetal blood circulatory system. Then, this NDD antibody will follow the placenta, follow the egg pan, go to the mother's blood circulatory system. So, what to do? What happens? What will happen? 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 Okay, 不会有事情的，比较安全。You know why? When the mother produces an NDD antibody, the quantity is not enough. 它的数量不够。Even the fall back to the fetal circulatory system, 虽然它会流回胎儿的身体里面，不过因为它的数量不够，它不足以伤害那个 fetus. So the first fetus, the first baby, 呢 will be safe. 第一胎通常都是安全的。Okay, so do the age. However, the concentration of the antibody produced is not enough to affect the first child. 第一胎呢，通常没有问题，因为它的数量不够，暂时没有问题。But the NDD antibody will last in the blood circulatory system of the mother. 问题是 ，the antibody D 这种抗体 D 呢，就会继续的留在妈咪的身体里面。And for the next pregnancy, 这些抗体一留在她的身体里面，继续的慢慢的制造。And during the next, okay, in the coming pregnancy, 下一次怀孕的时候呢，就要注意的，非常非常的要注意的。But don't worry, lah. Doctor 知道的，如果你的血血型是碱的，他通常会注意了。Okay. So the problem arises when the second child is also Rh positive. So 下一次怀孕，下一个胎儿呢，还是 positive. 这一次妈咪已经准备好了，她已经有 NDD antibody 了，对不对？这一次会比较危险。So the NDD antibody that are present in the mother's blood cross the placenta, 经过胎盘 and destroy the red blood cell of the fetus. 这一次她一早呢，早早怀孕的时候，她已经跑进胎盘，跑进胎儿的身体里面 and destroy the red blood cell of the fetus. 然后就开始打坏他的红血球了，对不对 ？So the symptoms of this disease are called erythrobastrosis fetalis. Erythrobastrosis fetalis. 怀疑叫什么？他怀疑很长啊，我背了很久，背不起。你自己打，在 Google 打一下，肯定有的，明白吗 ？Okay, erythrobastrosis fetalis. So the second factor is die if the blood is not replaced with the Rh negative blood. So this second factor is. 可能会死去了，因为他血液凝固，可能会头脑受伤，种种问题。So be careful 啦，要知道自己的情况。But normally doctor know everything. Doctor， 既然他的名字叫 doctor， 你怀孕的时候，一怀孕通常都会抽血了的，一两个月的时候会抽血，他就知道了的，明白吗？他会准备给你的，没有事的，消失来的。So in the less serious situations， 有时候情况没有这样可怕 ，the baby may suffer from anemia. 里面什么叫不可怕，也是很可怕。And mental retardations 可能是 mental retardations. Okay. However, this problem can now be addressed by treating the affected mother with what? Okay. So in 呢，这种呢 negative 的女生呢，通常要打针呢，打什么针呢？ Okay, anti-rhesus globulins after the first pregnancy to stop the formation of the NDD antibody. Lah, so 什么针不要管它，它的名字叫 anti-rhesus globulins. Okay, 打了这支针过后，你就不会制造那个 NDD 的 antibody 抗体，然后你的 baby 就会安全了。所以不要害怕，小事一件。But you have to advise from the doctor. Lah, not from me. Lah, 要问医生，不是问我了。哎，我只是大概知道有这种东西罢了。就你是 negative 的，你要自己小心一点点啊。这不是小心了，你知道有件这件事情，你问医生一下 ，doctor I'm negative， 我是什么东西要注意的吗 ？doctor 大概知道的，明白吗 ？OK， 所、so, 以没有什么东西要担心的 ，positive 也不要担心 ，negative 也不要担心。OK， set， the, so this is what we call rhesus factor， 这种情况就叫 rhesus factor。OK， understand？ 拜拜，谢谢，拜拜。